Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the third video on PyATS. In this video, we will see how to execute Cisco show command using PyATS CLI and parse output. Then we will see how to write equivalent Python script to parse the same output. And here in this documentation, we can see, although you don't need to know Python to use PyATS ecosystem, it might help you to understand the structure of Python based commands. So these are the lines of code which we need to write to parse the output using Python. So here first we need to import genie.testbird load and then using load method we need to load the testbed file. So we need to have a testbed file. In the next step we will see how to create a testbed file. Then we need to filter the device from testbed file using testbed.devices then to initiate a connection to the device we need to execute device.connect and if you use device.parse and give a show command it will automatically parse the output and give us the data in a dictionary format and then we will be able to fetch any data from that output if you want to see the command supported here from this parser list you can select the device we will be seeing how to parse Cisco IOS and IOS XE and you can search for the command. I will give show IP interface brief command and this is going to be the structure of the output data and here we can see interface status, method, protocol all these details we should be able to see and multiple devices supports same command NXOS, IOS, XR and if you want to see the supported device list you can see here this even supports Junoos and let us go back to the documentation and this page contains a lot of information here if you want to see the list of supported platforms you can go to this page and here we should be able to see OS and platform details and while defining the testbed file OS is mandatory platform is an optional value you can see some details about that here and here in iOS XE itself we can see multiple platforms so iOS XE C9800 and iOS XE with CSR 1000V and here we can see some example testbed files as well same device can support multiple connection profiles in this case this router supports telnet and SSH and using all these methods we should be able to connect to the device from PyATS And now we'll go back to the actual documentation and here we have multiple methods to create a testbed file one is creating testbed yaml file manually and if you want to create it manually you can refer this topology schema file so this gives a proper structure of the testbed file and here we can see multiple blocks so one is testbed blocks which contain testbed details these are optional data another is device block this contains the device inventory details and here we should be able to see OS platform model and credentials connections and all same way we have topology details where we will be defining the physical connectivity details like the link and the link mapping to another device this also is optional later we will be seeing all these options now we will try to create a very simple testbed file so this contains entire information about the testbed file 
now let us go back to the documentation and another method to create is create from excel file so you can download the sample excel file and from there you can create a touchbed file and we'll be using interactive command line method and we'll try to encrypt the password as well so i'll copy this And one thing to remember is while defining the device, this host name is mandatory and it should match with the device host name. Else PyATS will throw some error while connecting to the device. So I'll be using this device and VIOS 61. So we have to give this host name of the device. So I'll go to the terminal and execute the interactive command. So this will create a directory YAML and the touchbed file is going to be my underscore touchbed.yaml. So I'll give yes here. Common username is admin and yes, I'll give admin. device hostname I will copy this device I will give the IP address 0 0.63 protocol SSH and it is iOS XE I will give no and manually I will add the iOS now we can go to the directory here we have a folder yaml i will open this file so this automatically added all these details so these are mandatory data like it is adding the host name then operating system type is optional then enable password we don't need enable password we are not using enable here and this is encrypted the password now if I want to add another device I can take copy of this and I'll copy this host name and OS is we can go to the documentation and add the OS details. It is going to be iOS and platform is iOS V. This is optional but we can still add that. I will change this to platform. And I'll give IOSP. Now from this documentation, we can validate the testbed file using this command. YAML slash my testbed.yaml and it shows both devices and we haven't defined any interfaces now we can connect to the device here they are giving some mock data in the next video we'll see how to use mock data if you don't have real devices you will get some mock data and from that YAML it will respond like a normal device like Nexus and CSR 1000B so we will say that later now we will be using this device and here we can see some of the parsed output details and we will use this command we will try to parse this command output using PyATS CLI 
I'll copy this. We'll go to terminal and paste it. And before executing, we'll verify the IP address of the devices. So VIOS IP sixty one. I'll save this file. And here the syntax is hyphen hyphen devices. Then VIOS underscore sixty one and CSR hyphen seventeen dot three. And here in the test bed file. We need to give the YAML file. YAML slash my testbed dot YAML. Now we'll try executing this. So now this is trying to connect to the devices and getting the output. So here, this connected to sixty one. and printed the device details so you can see here this is in a proper dictionary format so you can parse all these outputs same way we can execute multiple commands i'll give another command here show ip interface brief So now this is printing the route details in a dictionary format. And we'll give show IP route. And if you compare this output with the Gini parser, you should be able to see the data. so here it was giving interface okay method status and protocol and if you verify that with this output it will be same so interface okay ip address method status and protocol 